Hello friends, this is Rachel. Today's crochet tutorial will be for the Crochet Acorn Hot Pad or Coaster. If you like this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of future crochet tutorials. I upload a new crochet tutorial every Friday. For this tutorial, we will need a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook and three different colors of yarn. Today I will be using I Love This Cotton. It is a number four worsted weight cotton yarn. I will be using the colors Antique Gold, the color Antique Cream, and the color Brown. Now let's get into this tutorial. For round one, we will start with the brown and we will make a chain of 21. Pause the video here and meet me back when you've finished your chain. We will work one single crochet in the second chain from our hook and in each chain across. We will have a total of 20 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. For round two, we will chain one and turn. We will place one single crochet in each stitch across. We will have a total of 20 single crochets at the end of round two. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. We will now chain one and turn. We will work a single crochet increase in the first stitch. followed by one single crochet in each of the next 18 stitches. We will work one single crochet increase in the last stitch. We will have a total of 22 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. We will now chain one and turn. In this row we will be working our puff stitches. In our first stitch, we will work a single crochet increase. In our second stitch, we will work a puff stitch. We will begin as if we were making a half double crochet. So we will yarn over, insert our hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch again, yarn over, pull th up another loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And we will secure it with a chain one. Now we will work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And we will work another puff stitch, yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert into your stitch again, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all four loops, yarn over, and make a chain stitch to secure. We will then work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And we will work another puff stitch. followed by one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, a puff stitch in the next stitch, one single crochet in each of the next three stitches, Puff stitch in the next stitch, a 
one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. A puff stitch in the next stitch. We will now work a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will chain one and turn. We will now chain one and turn. And for this round, we will work one single crochet in each stitch across. When we get to the puff stitch, you will skip that chain one that we used to secure it and work a single crochet in the puff stitch. We will have 24 single crochets at the end of this round. Don't forget to skip that chain stitch in your puff stitch. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. We will now chain one and turn. And this round will also be a round of puff stitches. We will work one single crochet in each of the first six stitches. Followed by a puff stitch in the next stitch. We will now place one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Followed by a puff stitch. One single crochet in each of the next four stitches. puff stitch in the next stitch. One single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Followed by a puff stitch. We will now work one single crochet in each of the last six stitches. We will have 24 stitches at the end of this round. We will now chain one and turn. And for the next two rounds, we will place one single crochet in each stitch across. We will have 24 single crochets at the end of each of the next two rounds. Remember when you reach that puff stitch, skip the single crochet and work your stitch in the puff stitch stitch. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have reached the end of round 8. When we reach the end of round 8, we will finish off our brown yarn. Now we will turn our work and with our right side facing, we will join our antique cream in the fourth stitch from the end. One, two, three, four. We will join the antique cream in our fourth stitch. We will chain one. We will work one single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in each of the next 17 stitches. We will have three stitches unworked at the end of this round. We will have a, have a total of 18 single crochets at the end of round nine. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round.
four rounds 10 through 16 we will chain one and turn we will work one single crochet in each stitch across we'll have a total of 18 single crochets at the end of each round pause the video here and meet me back when you have reached the end of round 16. We will now chain one and turn. We will work a single crochet decrease across the first two stitches, followed by one single crochet in each of the next 14 stitches. We will have two stitches left at the end of this round. We will work a single crochet decrease in those last two stitches. At the end of this round, we will have two single crochet decreases and 14 single crochets. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end of this round. Chain one and turn. We will work a single crochet decrease in the first two stitches, followed by one single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. We will have two stitches remaining at the end of this round. We will work a single crochet decrease over the last two stitches. So we will have two single crochet decreases and 12 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back at the end. We will chain one and turn. We will work a single crochet decrease over the first two stitches, followed by one single crochet in each of the next 10 stitches. We will work a single crochet decrease in the last two stitches. We will have two single crochet decreases and 10 single crochets at the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have reached the end. We will chain one and turn. We will work a single crochet decrease through the first two stitches, followed by one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. We will have two stitches remaining at the end. We will work a single crochet decrease over the last two stitches. We will have two single crochet decreases and eight single crochets at the end of this round. We will now chain one and turn. We will work a single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. We will work one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. Followed by a single crochet decrease in the last two stitches. We will have two single crochet decreases and six single crochets at the end of this round. We will now chain one and turn. We will work a single crochet decrease over the first two stitches, followed by one single crochet in the next four stitches, and a single crochet decrease in the last stitch, in the last two stitches. We will now chain one and turn, and on our final decrease round, we will work a single crochet decrease in the first two stitches, followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches, and a single crochet decrease over the last two stitches. We will now finish off our antique cream. We will join our antique gold and our last stitch worked with our right side facing. We will chain one and turn. We will work one single crochet in the same stitch, followed by one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. We 
we will now work a chain and place a single crochet in the same stitch as our last single crochet. So we will have a single crochet, chain one, a single crochet in that corner stitch. We will now work one single crochet in each stitch along the side until we reach the next corner stitch. This stitch right here, where we began our decreases, is our next corner stitch. We will work a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet all in the same stitch. We will now work one single crochet in each stitch until we reach our brown collar, where we connected the brown and the antique cream. We will now work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. When we reach that corner stitch, that third stitch, we'll work a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet all in the same stitch. We will now work one single crochet in each stitch until we get to the next corner stitch. When we reach that next corner stitch, we'll work a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet in the same stitch. We will now work one single crochet across each stitch, or in each stitch, across the top. When you have reached that next corner stitch, we will place a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. So pause the video here, meet me back when you have worked up to the next corner stitch. When we reach that last corner stitch, we'll work a single crochet, chain one, and single crochet. Now we will repeat on this side what we worked on this side. So we will work one single crochet in each stitch down the side until we reach this corner stitch. Then we will work a single crochet, a chain one, and a single crochet. We will then work one single crochet in each of these three stitches and one single crochet where the collars join. We will then work one single crochet down this side until we reach where we started to decrease stitches at. That will be our next corner stitch. We will work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that stitch. We will then work one single crochet down each stitch across until we reach the last stitch. So work your stitches and meet me back here when you have reached the last stitch. We will work a single crochet in that last stitch. We will now work one single crochet in the same stitch as our beginning single crochet. We will chain one and slip stitch to our first single crochet of the round. We will then finish off our work and weave in our ends. Your crochet, acorn, coaster, or hot pad is now complete. If you like this tutorial, and if you like tutorials like this, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified of future tutorials. I upload a new crochet tutorial every Friday. And if you have a suggestion for a future tutorial, please leave it in the comments below. Happy crocheting!